All right, let's uh, let's make this happen. What's up, Pablo? I see Pablo in the chat. How are you doing today, Pablo? Uh, saying first one, awesome, awesome. Glad you could make it. Yeah, we're just doing a quick little little blitz stream today, uh, trying to get to twenty five hundred. We'll see where it takes us. We will see. All right, but glad to have you here, Pablo. Let's try to get some blitz in. Let's play some Blitz. All right, let me know. Let me know about the music. If it's too loud, too soft, I am open to changing things. So let me know. Max, what's up? Good to have you. We are just on the road to 2,500 trying to make it happen. Um, yeah, it's the road to 2,500. Okay, looks like we're still trying to get a game here. It's kind of strange, but it's taken a little while. That's okay. We will wait. We'll wait it out. We'll see who wants to who wants to play us. And yeah, like I said, feel free to let me know about the music. Looks like we got a game. That's what it sounds like. Let's just go back and check. All right, yeah, we did. Let's go here. We're playing five minutes. Okay, let's go to YouTube real quick. I'm just gonna, okay, looks like this guy has played, so I don't wanna fall too far behind on the clock, but I do want to enter something into the stream chat for a second. So. Give me one sec. That is the uh, donation link. So I'm here to fill that bar at the top right. Uh, once we get to 100, I write and perform a chest wrap on a Twitch stream it's been done it's been done okay now let's rush back to the game and see if we can come back from that time advantage or time disadvantage okay we'll go here we're down about a minute but that's just an odd we're giving max asking are there any chess books that really helped me you're on the market for one okay okay cool um what do you think about that? Are there any chess books that really helped me? I know How to Reassess Your Chess by Jeremy Silman is a good one. Uh, that's just, in, in general, he's he's a good author. Um, his books will probably help you. So How to Reassess Your Chess by Silman. And on Twitch right now, we're currently working through uh, Bobby Fischer's... Um, yeah, we're, we're working through Bobby Fischer's My 60 Most Memorable Games. So that is something we're doing. So yeah, we've been having some fun on Twitch looking through Bobby Fischer's games. And everyone is welcome to join the action live, of course. Okay, H6. Looks like both my opponent and I are playing a an interesting game here. Okay, what, do I bring my bishop out here? I guess that's what we're gonna do. Okay, 95. Maybe I'll drop this guy back? Try to get this trade? I'm not sure. What's up to everybody who is uh, just who's just rolling in here? Uh, okay, let's. You heard that the game of the century didn't make the cut in that book. Um, I'd have to remind myself on what the game of the century was. But if it didn't, then that would suck. Um, yeah, I know that Fisher has some really good ones in there. The ones that we've looked through so far, at least, are pretty cool. 
How do I bring this knight? Do I bring the knight around this way? That's probably the right idea. Knight e2, knight g3. Come around this way. My opponent will probably try to trade the bishops, in which case I'll just take. Yep, go knight to g3. Just simple chess, bring the knight to f5. So we'll just play simple chess. Okay, g6. g6. That weakens this pawn right here. So what can I do about that? Just rook d2, double up. Seems reasonable. We will just double. When in doubt, double your rooks. That's my advice to everyone. Okay, knight back. Now maybe queen here. I don't know. I feel like this queen trade could be beneficial for me. Maybe I should have just left the queens on the board and gone up like this, but it's too late. Too little, too late. Okay, knight there. Um, so he's threatening this. I should probably stop him. So go here. Push a4. Yep, we'll push a4. Maybe drop the knight back. Maybe f3. Rook d7 could be on the agenda as well. Lots of good moves here. Rook d7 is definitely a move, though, that I'll, I'll strongly consider. Maybe I'll, I'll turn off the music for a little bit. Music is more of a Twitch vibe. I think I think YouTube is, uh, is a more peaceful space, you know? We got to respect the, the peaceful atmosphere that, that is created on YouTube. So we'll turn it off for a little bit. Maybe reroute the 992. Go C3, something like this. Max says, I'm reading Chess Fundamentals by Capablanca. Old book. And uh, they were using KT instead of Knight. Huh. I have not read that book. I'll tell you that. But that is, that is pretty cool. Coming up with great theory without Stockfish's assistance is commendable for sure. I definitely need Stockfish to come up with a lot of my ideas. Uh, I have a couple good original ideas, but Stockfish is, is just a beast. I don't know what else to say. Stockfish helps a lot. Yeah, there's this classic debate in chess whether engines are uh, beneficial to creativity or, or bad for it. Um, I think engines can help you be more creative. Because you're willing to try like certain things, you know, that maybe you normally wouldn't. Uh, or you use engines to push for your ideas to work. I don't know. I'm just some old man who's talking. Okay. What do I do about this? What's up, Eric? Also known as Zaraf. How are you doing? We're getting quite low on time here, actually, so maybe we should speed this up a little bit. Let's keep this going. Let's move a little faster. Okay, maybe here. Bring the bishop back. And try not to flag. We spent a little time grabbing some links. But that's okay, we're going to try and make up that time right now. I'm thinking we bring the bishop back, yep, and then target this pawn. So maybe knight c1, knight d3, something like this. Because my knight's currently not all that useful, so I want to make it useful. So let's go knight c1, knight d3, make this knight um, worth its weight, essentially. Maybe we'll swing around like this as well. So I think this position is quite promising. Yep, king e6, I'll go there. And now I want to pick this up. Maybe f3 first. Uh, okay, so there. Now what if I go here? It's getting interesting. Okay, he takes that. But now I take this. And what's your idea? Yep, takes, takes. 
This is all fine by me. Maybe not that last move. Maybe I should have done something about that last move, but I was just trying to pre-move a bit, so the quality of the moves definitely goes down a bit. Let's go bishop e3, rook b6, etc, etc, g3 maybe. Oh, I should have taken that pawn. Shoot. Okay, now I can't take it, but I'll come or Oh, whoa, don't pre-move that. I don't know why I was pre-moving that. Okay, takes, rook, check. Uh, come here. Now maybe g4. No, maybe not g4. Okay, let's go here, come around. Okay, try to win this. Okay. Okay, I guess the draw is a fair result. Um, the audio is out of sync, really. That's kind of weird. Ben, what's up? Says hello, what's up, Ben? Uh, yeah, the audio, the audio should be okay. Uh, is anybody else having problems with the audio? That it's out of sync? Not really sure what I would do about that. Maybe try refreshing. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, it draws a definitely is definitely a fair result there. I let my clock run very low. Yeah, the clock clock got down pretty low, but we'll try not to let that happen now. We'll try to manage our time a little bit better. But yeah, I just thought I'd hop on for a quick stream. Play some Blitz. You don't think the audio is too out of sync? You're not having issues? Okay, that's good. I don't know what it would be that would cause the audio to be out of sync. So, honestly, not even really sure how I would fix that. Um, in YouTube, is it the case that you can see chats that happened before you came into the stream? Or is it all new once you come into the stream? I'm not sure. Okay, so we are playing against an IM, Jay Sakara. Let's see what this international master has in store for us. So we'll go e6, bishop e7, all the normal stuff. Uh, I know that bishop b4 is a thing here too, so I might just do that. Just have to refresh. Okay, awesome, awesome. Good to know. Glad it's working now. The idea in a lot of these positions, so there's a pretty cool trap. Uh, it goes something like this. It's like queen b3, a5, a3, a4. It looks like he's not falling into it, but it's like you sack the bishop and then trap the queen. It's pretty cool. But he's not falling for it, so we'll go queen e8. Just typical idea of bringing the queen out this way. Uh, you can look at chat history. Okay, so it should be okay. Should be okay. Let's go b6 and try to develop the bishop this way. Okay, because I posted a link in the chat. I just wanted to make sure that it's working okay. Um, yeah, so bishop out. We want to bring the knight into e4, maybe bring the queen into g6. Just, uh, just basically get all our pieces on aggressive squares. So the bishop here and I think a combination of this bishop and this queen will be lethal so my opponent castles the other way he goes he goes queen side which is probably smart actually I'll retreat this bishop so I can use the knight as an effective piece and I retain the option to recapture with the bishop um we'll see we'll see 
but our road to 2500 first we got to get to 2400 so let's really push for that uh let's go a6 just stop anything from coming into b5 any knight b5 stuff um we have knight c6 knight b4 as an idea so that's uh that's pretty solid for us he goes f3 okay i'll just put my knight here if he ever kicks it i can always come into the center so i'm not too worried about anything like that okay a3 yep now maybe b5 takes 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 uh it is a pawn sack i think i'm pretty comfortable with it but it can wait a move or two at least so what do i do in the meantime maybe i do need to make something happen sort of immediately because the pressure is building on the king side there's g4 these sorts of ideas that i am also needs to get to 2400 yep that's true but we got to prove that we can beat him that's that's what we need to do so how do we prove that let's go knight d8 bring the knight to f7 and i might want c5 now with b5 ideas i'm not sure okay he goes e4 i think we should take that takes back now e5 is the dynamic idea to stop the pawns from rolling so we'll do it if he takes we just go knight into g4 okay he goes knight d5 now i'll take with the bishop just because my bishop's not that useful uh if he takes with the e pawn i'll go e4 and i actually trap his bishop i think so he's got to do something about this uh yeah the point is if he takes I'll take back, takes, and then I take the bishop with check, and I discover an attack on his queen. Yep, e4. If that's what you meant by d5, Eric, then that is right. There's e4, this little tactic, and I'm praying that it works, because that would be a really nice tactic. And we're up a little bit on the clock, too, so everything's kind of going our way. Um, I don't think my opponent saw this tactic. This is, this is a huge miss by him. Uh, but yeah, the point is there's a discovery at the end of the line. And if he takes my knight, I take his bishop attacking the queen. So he has to respond and then I take the bishop back. So either way, I get some material here, which I can't complain about. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see where this goes. He's thinking a lot. I'm hoping he's abandoned the game. Or maybe he's looking for some tactic to get out of it. But let's say he spends a long time and he gets down to one minute and he's still searching for that tactic. Then he's going to be in time trouble. And for those of you who, uh, who watch me on Twitch, you know that I love flagging people. It is what I live for. I don't care about anything else in chess except that dirty, dirty flag. So... We are just going to look to flag our opponent if he takes too much time. I'll actually probably rematch this guy because he's thinking a lot. Uh, and I like people, I like to prey on people who think a lot. And he's pretty high rated, so we'll, we'll try to, we'll try to prey on him here. But he might just show us and just beat us in the, in the, in the next game. Hopefully he won't beat us in this game, that'd be really bad for our pride for our confidence, basically for everything. Okay, we'll do this little discovery tactic to win the win the knight, basically trade the bishop for the knight. And now I can pick up this pawn, go knight to f7. Yeah, knight f7 seems just fine. Take this with a check. Um, and just with the intent of blowing open the queen side. So let's say he goes queen here i'll go here and and attack his pawn and he's gonna be in some trouble nune what's up how are you doing says hi hi back how are you oh you're eric you're suggesting i played earlier okay he resigns let's rematch him accept it accept it please 
I need to feast on your rating. I hope he accepts. Because, man, that would be... That'd be fun if we could use this guy to our advantage. There was this guy I was playing the other day, this I am, and I played him in six, uh, six straight games and I won all six. So that was a lot of fun. That boosted the rating a lot. This was just like yesterday or two days ago. So we're hoping to find more of those people who will just keep rematching and keep giving me their points. Let's see if we can find some of them. I hope so. Not a lot of people playing 5-0 right now. Let's look at the lobby. Okay. There's some people challenging to this really weird time control. 3 plus 25. I don't know how that uh, even counts as blitz, but I guess it is 3 plus 25. Nune says, you're doing good, but no USCF tournaments. Yeah, no USCF tournaments. I know, waiting for them to be back. Max asking, have I faced GMs? I have faced GMs. Uh, if you mean over the board, the answer is still yes. But online, I face them I face them on a daily basis. But yes, I have played GMs over the board. Here, we're going to go for the classical Dutch castle. And we're going to hope that our opponent is not very good with their time again. We need more of those opponents. And we need to go super fast ourselves. So I'm committed to going really fast. Eric, I was thinking of devoting this stream to getting over 2,500 or just like making progress towards that. So maybe we'll save the challenges, the viewer challenges for another time. Hopefully that's okay with all, all of you guys. Uh... Okay, how do I play against this now? Queen e8 seems like a good way to get in there. Uh, I need to get e5 in somehow. Have I beaten any of them? I The, the best result I have against the GM is a draw. I have, uh, I have a draw against that GM who beat Anand in five moves, that guy. So that was, that was a pretty cool tournament result. It was at the US Open. Um... Is it scary to play a GM? Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's pretty scary. Which is really something that serves them, you know. Uh, yeah, Nunes says, you have a lot of friends who are NMs and they play GMs OTB. Yep, we do tend to play a good amount of GMs OTB. Um, yeah, depending on what state you're in, Nunes, I might know some of your NM friends, but... Obviously, there are too many NMs for me to know, like, all of them. So, chances are I probably probably don't, but I might. I don't know. Let's go Queen G6. We're up a little bit on the clock, which is which was our goal. But we're down a little bit in the position, which was not our goal. Um, our E-pawn is super weak, so we might sacrifice that at some point. Maybe knight g4, knight h5. One of these moves that just pokes at the position somehow. Uh, that's that's what I want. Yeah, we're at least we're stopping bishop e4 right now. We have enough pieces there. Bishop d7 might be in order. I'm also thinking bishop a6, target this. Eric says, do I start downing myself and thinking that they see something that I don't? Oh yeah, for for sure. Um, Nune says that you've heard of Sandeep. Yeah, Sandeep, of course. So that, I mean, Sandeep from Arizona. Yeah, um, I'm guessing you're not from Arizona. But yeah, I I of course do know Sandeep. Okay, so here takes takes. Yeah, sure, let's just go for it. Screw it. Uh, rook takes is the only option. Yep, and then I'll go bishop here. Target this. There's rook g5. Yep, that gets played, of course. And now we'll go here. We want knight into e4. Something dynamic. That mixes up the position a little bit. Uh, we also have bishop a6 threats. Yeah, so we have some threats. 
some ideas. C5, yeah, I was hoping my opponent wouldn't find this move, but they do. And we're low-key getting crushed here. Yeah, you've seen him around California. Yeah. Okay. Do you know Kevin? One sec, let me see what I can do here. Okay, let's just take this. Uh, what now? King H8, I feel, is right. Just getting out of all the threats. Do you know Kevin Yang? California. Depending on where in California you are, you might know someone I go to school with, Ori Marciano. Very nice guy. Okay, let's target this pawn. We are getting wrecked here, by the way, for, for the record. In case anyone is keeping track, we are getting destroyed. But we're going to try to win this game because if we don't, it'll set us back on our journey to the big 2-5-0-0. So we got to win. Losing is not an option. Got to win. Let's try to make it happen. So I want to go like queen d8, have some sort of fork tactic if he takes my pawn. I know that it doesn't exactly work, but I can dream. Nuna says that you have to go. All right, see ya. And that's pretty cool that you know that you know Kevin. I know Kevin as well. So okay, I'm I'm thinking I want to get something down the F file. See if I can see if I can get some counterplay. I think my opponent's strongly considering taking this, but he's taking a long time considering that. Okay, he ends up going here, which is a fine move. Let's go here. I hope he goes rook b6. Falls into this. Got about one minute left. Yeah, Eric, that's a really good point. Um, if you make one mistake, they hold on to it. That's a good assessment of what has happened here. For sure. Let's bring this knight in. Try to create some counterplay. Okay, so takes, takes. Maybe this, but then I swing the queen over. Not sure. Rook b6. Okay. So now... I will go... Here. Okay, let's try to get some tricks in. You hope to get there in the future? I'm I'm sure you will. Yeah, I'm I'm sure you will. Um Eric on Lee Chess is about sixteen hundred, right? You're on the right track for sure. Yes, let's go. Let's go. That's something to celebrate right there. That is something to celebrate indeed. Now I just got to not mess this up. Let's sack the exchange. Um, okay, my opponent doesn't have much time, so let's be precise. I'll take this. Okay, yep, running with that pawn, that's fair. Let me run with my pawn. Okay. Does this work? I should have given the check first. What am I doing? That was kind of dumb. Let's give this check. Check again. And check down here. All right. Nice. Rithwick, what's up? How are you doing? Yeah, 1800 rapid, that's good. So that was cool that we got that win. We're up to 2386. Hopefully we can push forward to 2400. 
Um, and then obviously road to 2,500, get past there to 25. So let's make that happen. We're going to, as, as soon as we get around the 2,500 level, we're definitely going to see a lot more like GMs. I'd say at this level, 2,300s, we see a lot of FMs and IMs and some GMs, of course. Um, but yeah, playing GMs is always fun. I, I enjoy it a lot, especially online because you have this unique opportunity to play against a GM a bunch of times and get some cool wins. So I always appreciate that. Okay, let's go here. Play Knight F3, get a Catalan going. Again, it's going to be a big focus for us to stay up on the clock. So we're going to try to do that. If he castles, I just go Bishop to G2 and I castle myself. Okay, I'm just going to castle. Pretty much no matter what he does. Uh, that's the point of this. Max is asking if I'm able to mate with a bishop and knight with less than a minute left. Um, yeah, actually, like, I, I actually don't think so. I The bishop and knight mate is something that I've always felt I could figure out over the board in, like, classical chess. But it's never something that I've bothered uh, committing myself to studying. So... That's something that I need to do. Um, yeah, that's something I really need to do. I need to just sit down and study the bishop and knight mate because actually not all masters know how to do it. Uh, as you'll probably find, a lot of masters don't know how to do it. I don't really know how to do it. I think I could figure it out, but like I said, don't really know how to do it. Okay, let's take this. Yeah, stronger IMs in Blitz, they're definitely around that uh, that rating threshold that Eric just mentioned. I would agree with that assessment. Okay, I think we can go for this sort of idea. Bishop h4, just take this. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work. I know that this idea is pretty common... Yeah, I've never had to mate with bishop and knight. I've never gone that over the over the board or online. Yeah, you know something's rare when you haven't had it online. I've played thousands on thousands of games online. And actually, I think what I did here is a mistake. Because usually you only go for this when your opponent has taken this pawn. And because my opponent hasn't committed to taking this, it's not as good for me. Uh... Because you really need to be able to play this move. So I'm going to try and bait my opponent into taking the pawn. But there's obviously no guarantee that he does it. Uh, no reason really for him to do it either. So I played myself here, kind of. Uh, yeah, sort of played myself here. Okay, king up. Now... I can take that, but I don't know how much good that does. So I'll just go e3 for now. Swing the queen around, maybe go h4. Ah, uh, Max blundered one of your pieces. Yeah, that, that happens. Don't worry too much about it. You recently had rook, bishop, and knight versus rook. And the guy kept trying to uh, swap rooks. Kept noping out of that. Yeah, that's that's probably the right choice. I think it's honestly easier to convert with rook, bishop, and knight versus rook than bishop and knight versus king. Because you have some pretty good chances to just straight up win the rook. Okay, we'll go here. And now we want to put our pressure, or we want to put our opponent under time pressure. Because if we're down in material like we are right now, uh, and you know, our opponent is up on the clock too, then we're in huge trouble. So the, the clock is where we've got to utilize our assets here. Okay, let's take this pawn, swing this rook over, try to go for c4. Maybe even bring this queen here, 
push this pawn. I'm not sure. One of these ideas should be good. One of these ideas has got to be good. If we just keep hoping, something will work out. Okay, 94. I assume we take that. Uh, and swing the queen into g4. This is all guessing, but I'm... I, I think this is right. Okay, f5. That's... that's fair. Uh... Yeah, I think I have to go back now. Check, takes... Nope. Alright, let's go here. h4. Bishop f4, play like this. Maybe even c4, d5. But yeah, definitely something along these lines is what I'm thinking. Okay, knight f6. Now c4 seems very reasonable. I think I'll just go for it. We can always go h4. So yeah, knight there, h4. Bring the bishop back to f4. Play d5. Just go for these. Go for these plans. And execute them with speed. Leaving our opponent not much time to react. Sometimes in blitz you get bad positions. And that's just part of it. Uh, you land yourself in a sketchy position. And you just have to do everything you can to escape from it. So if I take, take. Take, take. Bishop f4. Queen moves. I take. Queen takes. Rook down. Rook e7. Rook here. I don't love my chances. Okay, but I... I'm not sure. So, d5. I push forward. I'm ready to go d6. I'm not so sure about that either. Okay, this is a tough one, actually. So what if I start with, okay, let's start with this, go bishop f4. If knight f3, I can capture, so that's not possible. Queen e7, I have queen b2, and even that's not too great. Yeah, he has rook e8 supporting, yep, the rook, the rook on e8 is sort of saving his position. Uh, let's try to use our rooks somehow. So here, go like this. I still have knight f3, queen f3. Okay, now I don't have knight f3, queen f3, but I have to do it anyways. Yeah, it's forced, so I'll go check. Okay. Bring the rook here, try to take this. Rook c5, let's swing this down. Let's go here. What's he doing here? What is he up to? So if I go... Okay, so if I go king h2, king h3, and rook g5. Okay, he goes there, which is smart, very smart. Um, I'll sack. Go here. Take this pawn. Okay, we've actually landed ourselves in this rook down position. Uh, OK, 
Okay, we have to go for this. Okay, here. Um... Okay, unfortunate. That's okay. Uh, we got close there, though. Dang. On move 36. F5 on move 36. Yeah, that was really bad. But I don't think we deserve to win that game anyhow. Uh, let's see. So move 36 of the last one. So right around this part. Instead of king h2, go f5, okay. Yeah, f5 looks good to me. Didn't see that. I was trying to bring my king up and then mate like this. But that was the... So, like, I was thinking here, king h2, king h3, and I thought he would take. And then I go here, takes, takes, and then I made him. But that's not what ended up happening. Instead, I got absolutely played... Uh, but that's kind of my fault for not seeing the tactic. Yeah, F5 looks good. F5 does look like it worked there. Even Rook G5 right away in a lot of positions was just really good too. But just not when I played it. Yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. Let's jump back in, though. I think we didn't lose that many points from that one. We should have rematched that guy. What, what am I doing? Now we're just going to play some other random person. Let's see, though, if we end up getting... Getting a game. We're in the pool. Not a lot of people in the pool right now. Not a lot of people. Let's see. Eric Rosen is playing chess and chill. G4. G4 when? So I'm not sure what position you're talking about with G4, but I thought in a lot of those positions, if G4, then he could go bishop takes G4. Yeah, I'm not sure of the exact position, but I trust that it was there. The G4 is definitely a theme in that position for mate. Definitely. So that was really dumb. Now I'm kind of heated. Let's try to get a win. Because if I don't win this, I'm going to go on extreme tilt, and we don't want that. Let's try to avoid the tilt. Okay, let's go d5. A lot of people don't go into this line. Actually, most people I play don't enter this line. Uh, I don't think it's that good. It's not supposed to be. c5. Uh, yeah, I had this a little while back. I just went knight c6 on the next move. Okay, he takes. I'll take back. Knight c6 with the idea of cd or dc and then this. So he goes knight c3 instead. Um, Is it this? This move right here? I think so. And you just want to take this. So he takes and now I have this. Yep, check. I'll move. Yep, that all checks out. But what if I just move my queen? Aren't I escaping from your traps and tricks? Etc. So like queen a5. And what are you doing there? 
Yeah, so my idea here is just get the queen out of the way and maintain this fork on this bishop and this knight. If I went queen e8, I think he was going knight d5, uh, takes, and knight c7. Okay, knight d5 anyways, I'm just going to take this. Takes, I can take with the rook. I'm not getting back ranked here because my queen and my knight defend this square. So I'm not concerned about that. I can take this pawn too. And what does he do? Yeah, if he takes my knight, I'll just take back. I have rook f8 at the end. Okay, rook c1. I'll go back here. Just stay stay defended. Keep the back rank defended. I might go for this h6 move at some point soon. Just to ensure that I'm safer than I currently am. Queen e8 to keep queen e3 open. Yeah, queen e8. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't see that you suggested that, but hopefully what I just said addressed it. Um, if you're talking about the same position that I just talked about, then hopefully that addressed your question. Okay, let's go here. Ooh, he takes with this rook. That's interesting. Uh, and there's a back rank idea. Okay, so if I take the queen, he takes, and he's back ranking me, okay. So I have to avoid it somehow, like queen c5. Queen c5 is risky, risky business. There's rook e8, after which I have rook f8. Yeah, risky stuff. I've now given two pawns instead of one for the piece okay he goes there but now don't I have this why can't I play this okay so my idea is if queen down I go rook down and I should be fine so I think this is good actually queen d8 rook f8 and I still keep this pin I think he's in big trouble now yep let's rematch him try to steal some more rating from him We'll see if he accepts. I do desperately want to steal some points from him. Come on, accept. I'll type in GG just to see if he responds, wants another game. Come on, let's play again. Ah, okay. It doesn't look like we're going to get another game with this guy. So we'll click new opponent. But that was a good one. That was a nice, nice quick win. Okay, we are playing white. Let's go for e4. And we're playing against the Karakhan. We'll play the hillbilly attack with bishop c4. If you watch the Twitch stream, you know that I like to call the community the uh, Karo clan because I love the Karo Khan for black. But when we have to play against it, we got to go for something ridiculous like the hillbilly. And we've got our opponent thinking a little bit. So Pegaso is thinking about it. Uh, I think they say the most principled way to play against gambits is to accept them. So I would just take the pawn on e4. But to each his own. I've had people play knight f6 against me here and e6 so I guess a lot of things are playable but I mean I can see black taking this does sort of open open things up knight a6 that does not seem like the right move I guess you want to come into c5 but I'll stop you so I'll stop black from achieving this plan um what else? I guess I'll go knight to c3. f3, something like that. Bishop f4. Okay, he takes now, which is interesting. Queen h5, g6. Back here. Takes. Knight e2. Bishop f4. Something like this, just some development. 
I'm okay with sacking two pawns, so he can have the d-pawn too. Silent Nemesis asking, what is chess rap? What is chess rap? Great question. Uh, so basically, if we reach our donation goal of $100, you see this bar at the top right? Um, the bar that says chess rap. Uh, if we reach that donation goal, then I will... I will write and perform my own rap about chess uh, in a giraffe onesie. So I write the rap myself. It's 100% about chess, and I, I do it all in a onesie. <laughs> you saw it? Yeah. Yeah, if you, go, if you scroll to the top of the chat, you should be able to see what I'm talking about. But if you guys want to see that onesie action, then make sure to donate using the link above. And your donation will be registered on the bar. Okay, we'll go here. Yep, thanks for, thanks for pasting that silent nemesis. Uh, and there was a link right above that. So anybody who wants to, feel free to use that link. Okay, well, just castle here. My opponent's been, like, crazy slow. So I need to take advantage of this somehow. Uh, what do I do? Bishop h6? I'm allowing queen h5. We'll see if he finds it. Looks like he didn't. Uh, okay, so here. Is that fine? Okay. If he takes, he takes. Knight there. Now I could capture bishop c4, b5, bishop just back to b3, I guess, then. Is provoking b5 a good thing? I don't know. I feel like that's the type of move you'd want to provoke. Let's take this first, and then we can decide about taking this guy. Uh... I don't see anything so horrible with taking this pawn. So takes, 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 queen here, rookie one. We're down two pawns, though, is the problem. If we were down only one pawn, then that would be a much more viable option. Right now, it's not as viable. Something we go here. I don't know. Okay, rookie one. Solid move. Silent Nemesis says, try hopping onto GM Vidit stream with a super chat. Should help you get a bunch of followers. Maybe he'll even play you. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't even, I don't really know what a super chat is, but I'd imagine it's a uh, superb form of chatting. It's like, <laughs> it's just like an extra feature probably on Twitch. So I should look into that for sure. Thank you for the recommendation. Let's take this one. Yeah, Vid is too strong if I want to get to 2,500. Yep, Vid is a beast. Not much is certain. Absolute animal. Very good at chess. Uh, but, you know, an, an opportunity to play Vid it, it'd be tough to pass that up if such an opportunity arises. So I, I also, at the same time, I, would, I wouldn't care that much about the rating. Voracious Saurabh says, hello, what's up? Hello. Vidit reads all super chats. Nice. Good to know. All right. Now we're down on time. I was criticizing my opponent for poor time management, but I've somehow slipped into really bad time management as well we're currently down only one pawn which is fine it's just a pawn uh okay we'll come back here keep this possibility yep playing a gm would be very instructive i agree 
Let's go like b4, c3, play moves like this. Okay, rook d2. If I go c4, that's just playing for tricks. Uh, so let's go rook to c1. I'm holding off on this c3 move. Uh, do, 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 what to do? Actually, not sure. Rook e2, is that something to consider? Takes, takes. If he goes rook d1, I'll just head back rook e1. That's fine. Okay, he goes there. Which actually traps my queen. So that sucks. Okay, looks like this guy found a way. Looks like he found a way. My queen was looking a little sketchy. I didn't see a clear way for him to trap it, but I guess he found one. So we'll respect it. We'll go knight here and we'll play for one last trick. Uh, but yeah, if he sees that the queen is on pre, we'll resign. Okay. All right. We are still right around. Yep, queen trapped. Yeah, that's right. We're still right around this uh, 2380 level. So I think we at least need to try to break 2400 today. That's It's very possible. We just need to manage our time super well and focus. So this next game, laser focus. Okay. Takes. We can play an exchange. Uh, I'll bring the bishop to g4. C3, yep, and we'll play it like a reverse QGD. So I'll put the bishop here, castle. Uh, now a6. Yep, b5. This all checks out. Probably here, yep. And now I will. I could give this up too. And I'll just take this and go here. Yep, he can go there, and now I'll go rook here. I think this is good. I'm okay with accepting these doubled pawns. I'm fine with that. Knight h5, okay. He's trying for more. He wants more than just to double my pawns, which is fair. <clears throat> Let's see if he wants to trade off absolutely everything. If he does, that's fine by me. I now threaten to take at least, so I have a threat. Knight takes h5. Queen takes g6. Takes, I'll probably take back. Swing the other rook to c8 and play against this. Uh, Silent Nemesis asking, what's the general plan in the reverse QGD? So my general plan here is to uh, go for this minority attack. So you see this pawn here on b4 just trying to ruin his pawn structure? That is what I'm trying to do. That is that is the general plan. So yeah, I want to put my rooks on the c and b file and really try to play against his weak pawns over here. This is what I want. Uh, okay, I'm struggling to see a way to effectively trade these queens. So I'm probably not going to trade the queens for now. Uh, if I go knight a5, that could be good. That could be a good try. Okay, knight a5. It's in the spirit of the position anyways, coming into c4. This is one of the ideas that you want to try and orchestrate. Now, rook takes on b4 maintains two threats. But taking this pawn is much more of a threat than taking this one. Uh, the problem is that I don't see a way for white to defend this one. So he is going to lose it. Okay. Now we'll see what he does, but he's not in the best position here. We just need to coordinate our pieces. That's what's missing in our position, piece coordination. 
Uh, other than that, we're doing really well here. So once we figure out how to put our pieces together on the right squares, then we should be good to go. If I go rook c6, there's queen down here, which is really bad. So I'll go here instead. Offer a trade. If he accepts, that's good. If he doesn't accept, we can try grabbing this pawn. Uh, okay, he takes this. So he's also attacking this. That's something I got to be careful of. Let's go queen back to f8, guarding this. What if he takes on b4? Yep. Uh, yeah, if he takes on b4, you get a position that's very similar to the to the current one. Because my opponent did take that pawn. Okay, now what if I go like this? What do you want to do? So I attack the queen. I can go like knight to e5. Yeah, queen there. Let's go knight e5. This is proving to be a little bit tricky, but I think I finally get to take this rook, which is a huge plus for the position. Uh, and once I take the rook, then simplifying it becomes easier. So he's allowing me to take the bishop instead, which I don't understand. I have knight c5. This is what he missed. Okay, good game. We get three points from that. We'll send him a rematch in case he wants to go again. Doesn't look doesn't look like he wants to, so we'll we'll go for a new game. Five minute. Silent Nemesis, thank you. Yep, we're we're back above 2380. Let's try to push some more. Uh, yeah, against the Karokan, I should probably stop playing the Hillbilly, but the Hillbilly wasn't the root of my issues there, so I won't blame it. French, let's go for the King's Indian attack. Uh, yep, let's go Knight F3, G3. All the normal stuff. Let's just castle. Our opponent's 2235, so we need to score big here. Okay, c3. I want to close it down. So like this, knight f1. Okay, he's he's going for the close down. Okay, now I'm going to open it up. Just because this pawn has been pushed here. Let's bring the knight to c4. And yeah, there have got to be some tactics here. Like maybe bring the queen around to this diagonal. But there's got to be something here. Uh... I can also target this. So what do I want to do? Which plan do I want to go for? Knight h4 seems like a good move. Just in general, seems like a good move to have in. To keep an eye on these light squares, maybe we'll jump in there. Voracious Sorab says good game. Thank you. Thank you, Sorab. Okay, bishop here. Now do I just bring the queen in or what? Uh, knight here is also an option. I might do that. Bishop takes. And if not, then I can bring the knight to, to f5. So either way, I'm getting my knight to a good square. He goes back. That is understandable. Now here, there's queen e8 to trade queens, which I don't really love. Um, my knight might be misplaced on h4 now, so I'm thinking maybe come back all the way and reroute although I might just let him push me first okay b3 doesn't seem good because it weakens this pawn let's come up with a plan here what's our plan uh this bishop's a good piece so maybe we try to trade it off or maybe we just provoke him bishop e4 provoke him into playing f5 That seems like a pretty good idea because f5 does weaken this e-pawn. So we can provoke him into doing that. Um, if he goes g5, we also have knight to g6. All right, he goes there. Knight g6 is an option. Queen h5, another option. 
trying to get in this move. Uh, Queen H5, we might be risking him actually playing F5 and winning this pawn. So I'm not sure if I love that. Queen F3, still F5. Okay, let's create a new plan of attack. This rook isn't that good on E1, so let's shift it to D1. Rook D8, okay. Uh, knight G6, let's go here. Offer this trade. Yeah, we've got to beat this guy. The I feel like the biggest place where people around my rating range and people around this guy's rating range diverge, the biggest point of divergence is endgame technique. So let's try to make it to the ending and display some class if we can. But if we get a worse position in the middle game, it'll be very difficult to do anything in the ending. So that's why it's it's of paramount importance that we don't lose this out of the middle game. Now we have to reroute this knight. We can't go here because he takes, takes, and this rook falls. So we've got to come up with something else, maybe b3. So we can go knight to c4. Okay, let's do this. Now f4, we go knight into c4. We can develop the bishop to b2. Silent Nemesis asking c4. So c4 for white or black? Um, the reason I wasn't really considering it is because it allows this hole on d4. So I don't want to allow my opponent to enter the hole on d4 with the knight or with the queen. But good suggestion. Keep keep on suggesting stuff, guys. Also, I'm probably going to wrap this up kind of soon. This was just intended to be a small little stream for the YouTube people. Uh, move 21 was c4 good. Yeah, I don't I don't know about c4 uh, because of the d4 square. Yeah, white. Yep, hopefully that explanation helps a little bit. But yeah, I stream much more often on Twitch, and I will be on Twitch tomorrow. So if you haven't checked me out there, please make sure to do so. Uh, Yeah, Silent Nemesis, thanks. I will I will try to make that happen. I'll uh I'll keep an eye out for Vidit. Yeah, so that that would be that would be Twitch, right? So yeah, I do stream mostly on Twitch. Uh Yeah, that's true. It, it might be a weird time in Arizona. But I will keep an eye out for Vidit. Uh yeah, thank you very much, Silent Nemesis. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, and, and thanks for recommending to your friends. And you guys can catch me on Twitch, too. I just did a Twitch stream today as well, so I'm a little bit lower energy than usual. But I typically try to try to bring the... Uh, I typically try to bring the energy as much as possible. Oh, Vida doesn't stream on Twitch. I didn't know raids were possible on YouTube, but that's pretty cool. But yeah, make sure you guys check me out on Twitch as well. Because I do most of my streaming on there. Uh, same username, just Giraffe Chess. Okay, Night G6, and we really have to speed up. This is getting awful, uh, the time management. So let's go here. And let's try to end on a win no matter what. So whether we win or lose this game, let's try to end on a win at least. Okay, he goes there. Um, yeah, I think this shows I don't have as good an understanding of the King's Indian attack positions as I should. I'm not really an E4 player, so that uh, definitely will interfere with my understanding of the positions, but we'll try anyways. So we'll go here, bring this bishop back somewhere. Uh, okay, maybe rook c1. Guard this pawn. Takes. Let's take this way. 
I actually don't like the way that exchange just went for my opponent because now these two squares are super weak. Uh, okay, let's go bring bring the knight into here. G6, I have this. So now all of a sudden my opponent has to be careful, which he really didn't before. Uh, did not have to be careful, that is. G6 still doesn't work. Okay, queen g6, that's fine. Um, speed up a little bit. Let's go here. Bring the knight into d5 maybe. And try to gang up on the h file. So with the strong knight on d5, we should be solid for a little bit. Maybe pawn to c4. But yeah, let's go here. Bring this rook in. Rook h3. Rook to h1. And try to just get something going. Let's go g4. I'll try to swing the knight here now, but whatever I do, I need to do it pretty fast. Uh, there is a slight time constraint on this, given my time in this position. Okay, let's, what can we do? Let's take this. Okay, yeah. We're too low on time, unfortunately, but we'll try to end on a win. Uh, yeah, way too low on time. Really bad time management here. All right, let's try to end on a win. Yeah, that does sound a lot like a Twitch raid. Um, yeah, I could have gone to an ending, but I didn't have much time left, so I thought I needed to... To keep the pieces and try to mate my opponent. Let's go. Bishop e2. Just castle. And c4. So we're expanding. We have a big center. We should probably support that center somehow. So b3. Bishop to b2. Seems like a good way to support this. He's going a5. I'll go a3. So as to meet this move with, with something like this. Uh, okay, I'll go here. Support my pawn. Doug H says, great videos. You helped step up my Karo Khan game. Well, I'm, re I'm really glad you liked the videos, Doug. Thanks so much. Yeah, part two of the Karo Khan videos series is coming out soon. So keep an eye out for that. I just recorded part two. So I will be dropping that probably very, very soon. Um, my regular upload schedule these days is Sunday, um, Sunday, Tuesday, Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern. So if you're looking to find a new video, then you can check at those times. That is that is when I'm trying to keep my upload schedule. Okay. So we're trying to end on a win here. Uh, trying to pick up that pawn. Okay, he doesn't allow it. So I'll go rook d1. Just bring the knight in like this. But yeah, it's just... It's just a uh, stream tradition to end on a win. So we're going to try. Even though I'm kind of tired right now. We're going to try to keep up the, the tradition. End on a win. Uh, Alright, bishop takes. Maybe bring the knight out. Knight e4, something like this. Uh, so I have this pin going. It's tough to put additional pressure on it, but we're trying. b6, I should probably take, take. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this. And how to put more pressure on this guy. So if I go knight e4, 
Now I'm discouraging e5 because of this check, I guess. Yeah, so what do I do? e5 here. Um... Huh. I don't know if I have any good way to take advantage of that bishop. I don't think so. Okay, so let's try to force our opponent into expanding a little too much. Uh, and the way we do that is he goes e5. And then we go like queen e4, try to force f5, and then we come back. Ooh, so he's actually going to take that rook. I hadn't calculated this. This is one line that I had forgotten to calculate. So let's just hope this works out in our favor. We'll go here. Queen b7. Attacking these two pawns. Uh, if the rook checks, we do have the h2 square to run to. Bishop e5, g3. Uh, rook to d2, king g2. Looks like we got some more people in here. We're just winding down the stream, but thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for explaining that, guys. Yeah, the, the rook was hanging, but... Or sorry, the queen was saying, but ultimately my opponent decided to go for it because they get two rooks for the uh, for the queen. So it's it's not such a bad proposition for my opponent. Now, can I take this pawn? He goes here. I go here. Here. I mean, yeah, that looks okay. So we'll take. And we'll see how he wants to respond. If he goes... Okay, he goes for this. Now I'm thinking of just attacking this pawn again. And we don't want to spend too much time here. Uh, I don't want my opponent to get a time advantage. That's one thing that I tried to tell myself beforehand. But it's clearly not working because I keep spending all this time. All right, we'll go knight here. Bring it in. Yeah, no, this is not bad for black at all. Black is actually slightly better here, I think, uh, with the two rooks for the queen. So I'd argue black is doing just fine. But yeah, we just want to bring the knight in like this. Knight to c6. Fork him. If he goes rook a8, trying to pin my knight, I can go like queen b7. And I get out of the pin, fork his rooks. Now he's down on the clock. So this could be our opportunity to end on a win. Rook a8. Yep, rook a8. We go queen b7 like I was mentioning. Rook a8, queen b7. Yep, queen into here. Okay, knight c6 forks these two and threatens to run our pawn. So let's try to do this. Yeah, b5, b6. That's a viable option as well. I'm going to try to get that pawn rolling now. It's not too late to do this. So I'm going to try to make it happen. Rook here. Okay, now I could take this. And getting his bishop off the board would help me. So I'm going to do it. If he's willing to get his bishop off the board. Uh, okay, he goes king there instead. Oh, whoa, I can't go knight d5. What am I doing? Almost just blundered the entire game. Uh, so what here? Okay, let's just do it. Takes this. 
think I'm getting into some trouble actually. So, okay, I try to protect this. I feel like my knight is kind of sidelined. I have to get into here somehow. But if I move it, there's this check, which is just lethal, so... I don't know, I'm kind of stuck. Yeah... This wins a piece. Shoot. Dang, I... Yeah, now in order to end on a win, we're gonna have to play another one. Alright. We gotta win. Ugh, we've lost rating points. Uh, but we're gonna keep going. We're not gonna give up. I do always like to end on a win. Even though it is sort of contradictory to my strategy of stopping after you lose a certain number of games. But okay, let's see. We're playing Stefan. We've played him before. Uh, I think we beat this guy pretty handily, so let's try to get another win against him. He, I remember he took the knight on e4, and, and I got to play this d5. He won knight b1. Or yeah, sorry, f3, e3, knight b1. Now c5, I think he went knight c3, or he took, yep. Okay, this time he's going to take knight c3. So this is the same thing, no? We just had this. What's my guy's improvement? Okay, this, this literally seems like the exact same thing to me. I'd, I don't know what his improvement is here. He's still getting forked. He got forked. Okay, well, Vinny, thanks. Yeah, third time lucky. The road is long, yep. Well, we ended on a win, a pretty quick win. This guy just fell for the same fork uh, <laughs> in like two straight games. So quick wins in the uh, quick wins in the classical Dutch. Not sure what happened there, but yeah, shout out to everybody who joined. Make sure to check me out on Twitch. And uh yeah, I will be streaming on I will be streaming tomorrow. Tuesday, uh July 7th. I will be streaming title Tuesday. Yep, good job. Good job. Good job spotting that. Hello, Cynthia. Uh so yeah, join me for title Tuesday tomorrow. And we're going to have a lot of fun playing a lot of really good players, a lot of grandmasters, a lot of IMs. Uh, join me for Title Tuesday. I'll actually be streaming that one on Twitch. So go ahead and check out my Twitch channel if you haven't already. And we will be making more headway towards that, uh, that chess rap. So as soon as we hit the donation goal, I'm going to write the rap for you guys. All right. Uh, Evan's asking when I'm doing more GM analysis streaming. Uh, so yeah, I stream Bobby Fisher analysis to Twitch um, Friday at the latest. I'll say that. So my regularly scheduled weekly stream on Friday, uh, Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. That's that's the latest. Vincenzo Claw 8 is now following. Thank you to Vincenzo. Yeah, on Twitch, Bobby Fisher for sure. Uh, weekly scheduled stream is Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but I also do just stream sporadically, especially o over the summer. I'm going to be streaming quite a bit. But you can count on Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern every week. And we'll be doing we'll be doing some more Bobby Fisher. Uh, no, Evan, Title Tuesday will be on Twitch. So I'll be streaming Title Tuesday to Twitch. Um That'll be a lot of fun. Title Tuesday is a great tournament. I'm excited to play it. Uh, we streamed it last Tuesday. I still haven't released the recording of that to YouTube. Usually I 
release stuff to YouTube a bit late. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to catch it live, catch it on Twitch. Uh, the title Tuesday I played last week should be up on YouTube pretty soon. Yeah, chessable masters games. Yeah, that's a good idea, Eric. We could we should look into uh analyzing some chessable's masters stuff, chessable masters. Uh it's a good tournament, so if if we have some uh, good games to analyze, we'll do so. But other than that, we will definitely be working through Bobby Fisher's uh my 60 most memorable games. That's definitely on the agenda. And uh yeah, I saw someone just followed me on Twitch. So if you want to do that, then then uh, you won't miss any of the live streams. I've been streaming like literally almost every day or every other day on Twitch. So that's been a lot of fun. Uh, shout out to everybody who's been joining me there. And yeah, the giraffe onesie should be coming in soon. So we might be doing Title Tuesday in the giraffe onesie. Yep. That it would be interesting to cover some like uh modern day top GM games, I agree. How many games have I gone through of the sixty? So currently gone through twelve. Uh twelve of the sixty. We're doing four every time we stream. So uh we've done three streams for the Bobby Fisher games and we're done with twelve. By the end of the next stream, we'll be done with sixteen. I've also got this other book here uh, on Python chess strategy, so I will I'll be looking through that too. Probably after we finish the Fisher games, but the Fisher games have been really instructive. I've already used some of the stuff that I learned from from the Fisher games, so definitely very instructive. Uh, it's interesting how he picks out a goal, strategy, or approach just basically a, a strategy he wants to implement and then he just insists on it uh so that's that's pretty cool let me see if i can get the link to the stream into uh into the youtube chat let me see what i can do Okay, let's see. I'll I'll put this into the chat. Ah, legendary asking what happened to Twitch? Why are you Why are you streaming on YouTube? Uh, perfect timing. Ah, legendary. Actually, okay, see, I'll, I uh, I was just saying that I stream mostly on Twitch. So if you want to catch me there, that would be the best place. Yeah, if you want to if you want to catch my stream then make sure to follow the link that I just put into the chat. Uh it's a link to my Twitch stream. So yeah, you can you can find me there. Hopefully you guys can see the link. You can, right? Uh it's just basically my Twitch. The username is, huh? I don't know. That is super weird. That's weird. Yeah, there should only be one stream. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not that good at all this YouTube stuff, so I'm maybe I messed something up. Uh, but there should only be one stream. That's my that's my username on Twitch. So if you want to catch Tyler Tuesday tomorrow, uh, yeah, I shouldn't be streaming on Twitch right now. That's so weird. Yeah, right, right. It's not a link. It's not a link. Uh, let me pick up the link right now, actually. 
Here we go. There we go. That should that should work. Let me know if that works. Uh, let me know if that one works. Okay, works great. Glad it's working. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow, and then of course on Friday, two YouTube streams. YouTube is weird. Yeah, don't know what's going on with YouTube. Not sure. Well, we'll we'll figure it out. We're ending the stream anyways, uh, pretty soon. So we will we'll find out why the link works. Great, great. Glad it's working. The lag is like 15 seconds. The lag usually isn't that bad on Twitch. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, there usually isn't a bad lag on Twitch. Have to figure that out. Not sure. That That is that's very strange. Uh, I might have to delete this recording off of YouTube then if there are two concurrent recordings. Uh, I will figure that out for sure. I will figure that out. Other than analyzing Bobby Fischer, though, are there any other interesting, uh, interesting video ideas you guys have? See the silent nemesis. Sometimes there's a 20 second delay. Yeah, um, Eric, do you see that same delay on Twitch or just on YouTube? Let me know if you're having that same problem on, on Twitch as well. Master games or even other chess legends. Tall games would be nice. Okay, cool. I'll keep that all in mind. Yeah. Alright guys, well... Twitch is more reliable for streaming, so that's why I do most of my streaming from Twitch. Uh, yeah, please, please let me know if that happens again, if the lag happens or the concurrent streams. Uh, but I think because of the technical difficulties, we might just stick to streaming on Twitch uh, with the occasional YouTube stream. But uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I will see you guys tomorrow for Title Tuesday. Uh, for now, I'm out. All of those suggestions look great for Grandmaster Games, by the way. We will look into those after we finish up with Fisher.